One of the unsettling truths of the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum is that there's never a time I visit here when its lessons do not feel deeply resonant. But I have to tell you, I can recall a few times when that history felt so urgent or the responsibility it imparts on all of us so pressing. As we meet, the Russian government continues to wage its unprovoked brutal war on Ukraine. Each day brings more harrowing attacks, more innocent men, women, and children killed. That includes the five people who were killed in a strike on March 1st on a TV tower and the surrounding area on the outskirts of Kyiv, the same site where just over 80 years ago, 33,771 Jews were killed by the Nazis in just two days, Babi Yar. Ukraine is home to nearly 10,000 Holocaust survivors, including an 88-year-old woman, Natalia Bernsnaya of Odessa. Here's what she said in a recent interview, and I quote, It's hard to wrap my mind around the fact that in 1941, I had to hide in the basement of this building, and that I'm going to have to do that again now. The Kremlin has tried to justify this war by falsely claiming that it's intervening to stop genocide, abusing the term that we reserve for the gravest atrocities, disrespecting every victim of this heinous crime. Yet, even as we're working to increase international pressure on the Kremlin to end this unjustified war, we know there are many other places in the world where horrific atrocities are being committed. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.